Hi everybody, welcome back. If you didn't understand the last video about derivatives too much, don't worry about it, it's not really a big deal. Uh, we just need it so that we can do this video, which is derivative rules. So it's basically just a set of rules so that I know, but with practice, that if you gave me a function that was something like y equals uh, 7, 7x seven squared, I could tell you but right away that this, this derivative is 14x. Or also if you were to give me the derivative of say, or you had asked the derivative y equals x to the negative 1, which is the same saying of saying 1 over x, well, I could tell you that that's actually the derivative of that, d by d, and I should have wrote over here, d by dx of y is equal to 14x, d by dy of x over here, this is actually equal to negative 1 over x squared, or the same thing, negative x to the negative 2. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of rules for all of these functions about how I know these things. And pretty much everyone that's gone through calculus would already know these things, but if you don't, I'm going to explain just a few, not everything, and not the theory about deriving how they work, or the reason that it's true, just the rules by themselves. Okay, so if we have, and I'm going to start saying f of x rather than y, so I'm going to set, I'm going to, I'm going to use basically y is equal to f of x, it's just saying explicitly that it's a function of, f of x, maybe for example it's equal to 3x squared. Okay, so I'm going to start using f of x instead, and so if you were to ask the derivative, say, what is the derivative d by dx of f of x times c, okay, here's our new thing, where c if c is a real number, which I write like this, I'm saying it belongs to the set of r, which is the real numbers, basically negative 0.5, 0, 0.25, a, a million. So if we ask the derivative of f of x times c, or c f of x, well, that turns out to be equal, equal to, this is just c times d by dx of f of x, which is a slight switch. But what it's saying is that ignore that constant, just multiply it after, take the derivative of f of x, and then multiply it by c. So that's one rule. Uh, we call that the constant rule, basically. And again, I have, a, I have a PDF down below of all of these things. So, or you can just look up one online, but I'm sharing mine as well. So that's the constant rule. We have the uh, product rule. Okay, I shouldn't use red, that's the same as the title. So we have the product rule product, which is saying that if you had, say, two functions of x, if you had, so, so given, given f of x and g of x, two possibly different functions of x, and if you want to know the derivative d by dx of f of x times g of x, well, it turns out that this is equal to, and it doesn't matter if which which order this is in, because it's going to be a summation or an addition, it's f prime of x times g of x, where, by the way, f prime is just another notation, uh, d by dx of f of x, that's equal to f prime of x, it's, it's the same type of notation for the derivative, this is f prime of x times g of x itself, plus the derivative of the other one, times the original function, okay? So it's it's the addition, the separation between the derivative of the one times the same as the, the, the original of the other, plus the other way around, okay? So that's the product rule. Finally, we have, and there's many, many rules. Actually, no, sorry, I'm, there's gonna be two more rules. Uh, we're going to do the power rule. So power, power rule is a really nice one, which I've already, that's how I use the other stuff, is basically, if you have a function, if you have a function f of x is equal to x to the n, well then f prime, or the derivative, why am I writing in green when I wrote everything else in its proper color? If I have f of x is equal to something that looks like this, x to the n, well then f prime of x, f prime of x, the derivative of that, or the derivative of x to the n, well, that's just equal to n x to the n minus 1, okay? That's still to the exponent of that. What we do is we drop 
the power by one, but we multiply this thing first. So you can picture if this thing coming down, it'll be nx to the n minus one. Okay, that is the power rule, which we'll use all the time. And finally, we have a, a well, I guess I'll do that in red, the chain rule, which has a, a lot of theory in, in calculus, it's very, very important, is basically, if you have a composition of functions, which we'll, we'll explain with examples after this, so don't worry if all this is confusing, we're going to do some examples. If you have a function, basically, I'll say h of x, if you have a function h of x, which actually happens to be equal to f of g of x, which means, you know, x is a function, or f is a function of x, but you could insert into that function of x, you actually inserted g of x as x, kind of confusing, I'll show you with an example. Then the derivative, it turns out that h prime of x is actually equal to f prime, so the derivative of f at g of x, f prime of g of x times g prime of x. And I will show with examples in the next video. So I will see you then.